We have six non-NBA TV games, and Doug wants the whole thing. All half dozen, an entire mouthful. I feel, you're right. We feel like we're going for $25,000 a year. It is time for the fast break, ladies and gentlemen. Give me the clue. That's right. Get the buzzer ready. We're <laughs> time to go. Here we go. First one, Bucks at Pistons. Bucks are laying 12 here. This over-under is 247 and a half. What are we thinking? Who are teams that just played each other on Saturday? Uh, if that's what happened. They played. Pistons were all about intensity and everything, and the Bucs are going through the motions because they're facing a team with four wins this year. Eventually, the Bucs pulled away in the second half. Covered the second half number, but not the big point double-digit point spread going in. I, I would say Pistons are pass for me. I think I like the over. I'm going to try first half over, maybe game over, something along those lines, because I think we're going to see a lot of points. Detroit can actually shoot and score now that they have Bogdanovich, and Alec Burks is shooting a bunch. Ivy's definitely incorporating the distribution of things now that Monty Williams finally realizes this top five pick is actually good at basketball. Now his prop went under. I was a little disappointed on that. We missed it by a bucket, basically. Uh, I'll probably come back with it, Ivy prop, and uh, maybe the first half over and see where it goes. This next one is a difficult one. Cavs at Magic. Cavs only laying one over under is 214. Yeah, it was bummed when I saw this on the schedule because these are two teams I like to bet on. Um, really like what Cleveland's doing, obviously. How can you not? Seven straight wins. They are also just trucking some teams, right? So they were like three-point favorites or so in Atlanta. Beat them by a bunch, about 20. Uh, I'll lean there, but I God, I love the magic. Now that they're healthy, Bogner's back from injury. There, there's a lot to like with this Orlando team, but I'll, I'll stay with the hot hand with Detroit, although the magic just had a nice win against Miami. Uh, sorry, I'll lay the, the, the hot hand. Sorry, that's Cleveland. I apologize. I'll lay the one. Fair enough. Next up, Grizzlies at Raptors. Raptors laying six and a half. This over under is two twenty six and a half. So we don't know really what to expect with Toronto. They've traded, obviously, Pascal Siakam. Boucher's on the route, uh, reportedly on the block, and so is uh, Bruce Brown. They just got in, in the Siakam trade, but this Memphis team, all these guys are hurt, right? Morant, Desmond Bain. Um, Marcus Smart and all these guys. Some of these guys I had to look up like who the heck they were. They they took the Grizzlies to uh, sorry, the Warriors to the end. They bombed threes. They had a very low scoring first half the other night. Sw- flipped the switch against the Bulls and actually the game went over even though the first half went under by like 10. So I uh, I think that the you know, over is the play here. The Grizzlies will shoot threes early and often. And I think over the course of four quarters this new sort of roster of guys is chuck and duck with let it roll. Let's keep the fast break going. Hornets at Timberwolves could be the largest spread of the evening. <laughs> Horn, or Timberwolves minus 15 and a half. This over under is 221. Man, we have some bad teams right now. The Hornets, the Spurs, the Wizards. They're all like letting uh, the Pistons take all the shine from the terrible record. They're only a couple more wins, a couple wins better. I won't bet on the Hornets. They're awful. Um, but I, I think there could be value here at some point, maybe in game. I don't want to lay that big number. Timberwolves had an awesome game the last couple, this big week. The Timberwolves just had a big week. Um, although they let it down with the Thunder, the Thunder went in there and took care of business. That was a surprising result. They could get back on track. I just don't know how like mature they are. If this was like a good opponent, then they'd be up for the game. I just don't know if they can like get up for this game. Uh, that's why it's a you know probably a pass here. All right, the Celtics heading on down to Dallas. Mavericks is over unders at two forty and a half. Celtics are laying three and a half. Yeah, guy I really respect said he loves the Mavericks first half, and I didn't really understand why. The Celtics team you know got the job done in Houston. They got a little sloppy in the second half, but they took care of business, all things considered. I think it's going to be a really high scoring first half because the Mavs like to play high scoring first halves. So that's my first inkling. I will uh, I will take first half over, something like that. I like that move. And lastly, Bulls at Suns. Suns laying five and a half. This over-under is 228 and a half. Yeah. Phoenix has one of the worst ATS records across the league, but it's a very different team now than when it was for most of that record that was accumulated. Obviously, they have the big three intact. Covered the four, four and a half against the Pacers. Uh, I do think they get a little casual once they have a lead because they know they can just flip the switch and feed it to one of their big three, particularly Durant, who does not miss. He was excellent uh, down the stretch. I, I, I just don't want to, like, run to bet the number, but I don't want to bet against the Suns team. I, I just don't think they have the killer instinct right now. And when you're laying points with a team like that, that's what you need. But I'm going to sort of mull it over a little bit more. But it's it's fade them or pass. But, you know, they have covered lately. They've uh, They have flipped the switch seemingly. 
I like it. That wraps up the fast break. If you missed any of that, please head on over to our website, onlyplayers.com, where Doug breaks it all down. His betting card is there every single day for you to check out. That is onlyplayers.com.